I started out life in gay bars. If you wanted to survive socially, you danced and you played pool. And I did both. The idea is to create a real celebration of LGBTI elders and treat them like kings and queens. I knew I wanted to be a woman and it wasn't until I was 59 that this surfaced again. I just decided I wasn't going to die a shriveled up old prune. I was going to go for it. I had sex in groups, you know, threes, whatever. It was all on. I came out after my wife had died. I didn't want to hurt her in any way. Being a devout Christian, being married, how could you possibly be gay? I feared to disclose myself. I still get internalised homophobia. 23 years ago was illegal. I think just to survive, people have to move in difficult areas. There are a lot of people that have had a very hard time, and I think this project has actually allowed them the kind of freedom that they may not have had. We've had some emails saying that it's a disgusting event, and I know that some of the stakeholders have received emails complaining about it. I see that you are doing something that will result in something real, of benefit and joy for my people. When a person has been suppressed, there comes a time when that person breaks out. I've had to bury it behind this male person. I'm letting them go, killing them off. You look beautiful. This is the coming back out ball. Read my lips, I'm not coming until you put some decent music on. I'm a Pink Floyd fan, for God's sake. <laughs>